Now this guy is the Fire Cuda 510 Seagates Drive SSD and this I gotta say is probably the best the best SSD you can get if you're a video editor because it has 2,800 terabytes write. It can write 2,800 terabytes. That is 1.5 terabytes a day for the next five years. That is more than double its competition. Samsung 970 Pro, that one only gives you 1,200. So if you want to use this SSD as a read-write cache or a cache, just using those large media files being stored on this guy and having butter smooth Final Cut performance, then this is a drive to get because you can use it as much as you like, worry-free, guaranteed 2,800 writes. We're gonna be putting this SSD drive inside this behemoth of a NAS in this video. We're gonna show you the performance you can get using it as a cache and using it as a normal SSD drive, all that kind of goodness, comparing it to one of these mechanical spinner drives. So, let's go on in. Jump in, upgrade these systems, and show you how it rocks. All right, this is Seagate's FireCuda M.2 NVMe SSD drive. Look at it right there. Speeds of 3,000 megabytes a second. It's got total bytes written of 2,600 terabytes. That is more than twice as much as everyone else. And it's also got a mean time between failures of 1.8 million hours. And inside, there you have it. You have the manual, limited warranty, five years worth. It says right there, caution, caution, radioactive, caution. All right, static free workstation. Now you can damage this if you have socks on and all that kind of nonsense. So be careful with this little baby. And this is it, the 510 series M.2 NVMe. So tiny and small. Yet yeah, this is fast as hell. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna be installing this M.2 SSD into this beast of a NAS drive. Now to open the case, you just pull it back and then you lift to the sides and upwards and it just comes out so QNAP provide and recommend putting on heat sinks on M.2 SSDs to keep the system temperature cool, but just always double check with the manufacturer of your SSD as some come with thermal tapes on the NANs and controllers and removing them may affect your warranty. I personally tried slotting the SSD directly in without a heat sink and with a heat sink on top of the memory controller on top of the thermal tape and I didn't notice any difference in the operating temperature. If you want to install the heatsink, you can tell which one is the memory controller as the chips look different to the others. The ones that look the same, they're the NANs, and the one that looks different, that's the memory controller. So here is the NANs on both sides, and this one here is the controller. All right, so we get two M.2 slots over here in this QNAP device. And I'm just gonna slot into, I guess, this one because it's furthest away from my hard drive. So to do that, first, I'm gonna unplug that tab down there. So I've got my NAS here to the side and I'm just gonna plug in the M.2. There you go, it's floating in the air. Then I'll push it down, so it's like that. And then I'll lower the screw on the top and it should be nice and secure. So internally on the NAS itself, you can see that a normal hard drive, well, the best of the best normal hard drives gets you 242 megabytes a second. This is an Ironwolf Pro drive and the M.2 NVMe SSD. We're getting one and a half gigabytes a second, sequential read and IOPS. You can see that this Ironwolf Pro, best of the best of the normal hard drives, gets you 168 at the moment, IOPS in our operations, while the NVSSD <laughs> is just off the chart. And regarding access speeds externally, so by default over SMB, a hard disk drive gets between 240 to 300 megabytes a second write, and read, we get over 200 megabytes a second. Looking at our SSD, however, 
we get a sustained over 1000 megabytes a second write and our read speeds we're getting over 500 definitely over 600 megabytes a second read and this is our SSD performance so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to enable something called SSD caching which gives us the best of both worlds what that means is we're going to be using the SSD as a second drive purely to cache or store the most recent files available that way when we try to read from our volume the main hard drive volume it will hit the SSD first get the data from there and operate a lot faster so next let's select our drive and that's the M.2 SSD you can choose read read write or write only I love read only because it's more safer read write means if there is a failure a power failure or the SSD drive fails you will lose data and you get to choose between random IO or all IO now random IO is if you just want to generally make things faster however all IO includes heavy files like videos and because I'm a video editor I'm gonna select all IO the difference between random and all means all IO will hit your SSD harder because it's constantly pulling in gigabytes of data and pushing out gigabytes of data so you're gonna wear out your drive a lot faster but since I'm using a drive rated for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of usage I should be fine advanced settings you get two options you get first in first out and least recently used first in first out is pretty basic and it's easiest on the CPU I've got a quad core so I'm not too worried about that least frequency used is best performance because it keeps track of how many times a file is used before kicking it off so it keeps your most popular files on the cache so you get the best performance next so I'm going to enable a cache for my hard drive volume and create there it is it looks like my SSD cache is now ready that was pretty quick so writing you can see that we're going on the traditional speeds that we were seeing originally however reading look at that over 800 megabytes a second and I find this is the best configuration for video editing because it's not about how fast you can get the data onto the drives you're gonna get the most value when you're reading the data from the drive itself and you probably want to have the safety net of writing to the RAID volume so that's it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the upgrade experience. Super easy upgrading your M.2 cache. Pretty much, you just open up the box, plug it in, and it just works. It just works, and caching, tap of the button. QNAP QTS software, amazing. Performance, amazing. Hope you enjoyed the show.